comic book fans, and welcome to a special edition of Cammy's Comic Corner, the Indie Comics episode, Volume 2. I'm your host, as always, Cammy. Now, first of all, let me apologize for all of you wanting the month-to-month uh, -month Indie Comics episode. I was just so busy, uh, work, school, etc., but enough of the excuses. I got three picks, two web comics, and one graphic novel, so let's get right into it. First up, we have See What I Can Do, and it's a web comic written by Craig Chip Carmichael and art by Chad Serhall, and it's kind of an autobiographical webcomic. You see, uh, Craig uh, writes it and Chad draws it, and it's Craig reflecting on his life dealing with this uh, degenerative nerve disease known as uh, Friedrich's ataxia. And basically, it confines him to a wheelchair, and slowly, slowly but surely his, his muscles are, are dying. And so we get a very unique perspective with this webcomic, uh, seeing how he, he deals with it and how we go through uh, his different phases of his life and how it uh, developed early on, how he didn't really want to go in a wheelchair because, you know, in a high school, kids are just, they'll torment the fuck out of you. But uh, eventually he had to sit in the wheelchair because he, he just it got to a point where he just had no control over his muscles. Or, or, you know, what he could and could not do. So while it can be really sad at times, it's also just, it makes you feel overjoyed, and it's kind of like a, you can do it. He doesn't want your pity. Uh, he has humor uh, scattered throughout this, and it's obvious that he, he's comfortable enough to not only share his life story, but he even will uh, make, he'll joke in some uh, cases about uh, like maybe the way he got to school on on, on the uh, on the short bus or and how his friends in the comic you know say oh that's offensive you can't say that and he's like what you know I was on the I was on the short bus but uh, it was a very enjoyable web web comic it really ha helps you you know see this disease from a different perspective and it's free if you go to topshelfcomics.com uh, you just look under uh, Chip Carmichael section you'll find it right there. Next up, from Alterna Comics, we have Jesus Hates Zombies, Those Slackjaw Blues. And it's written by Stephen Lindsay, and uh, there's 16 different artists on this book. So I'm not going to waste my breath going through all 16 of them. Just know that the, the guy in charge, the head honcho, is Stephen Lindsay. Now, this is kind of like a, well, it's kind of like a collection of all these different artists writing about this one character. Uh, the whole plot is Jesus is sent da back down to earth from heaven by his father to take care of the whole zombie situation. Because apparently he's kind of like Santa Claus or Tinkerbell. With not, if when uh, not enough people are believing in him, his powers don't really work. So he has to go and locate the church uh, with the uh, destined few. And in the meantime, he has to go through you know all these different cities, all these different countries, fighting off zombies. So a lot of people might uh, argue that, you know, the zombie comics are dead, uh, they're not funny anymore, they're not enjoyable. Well, I think they get a bad rap from just the Marvel zombies stuff nowadays, because you feel like that's never going to end, but it's undead, it keeps going on. Not the case with this book. I had tremendous amounts of fun reading through all the different stories, all the different artists. It just It's so nice, and I really like this, especially uh, seeing independent artists that you've never heard of before, and then you're going, oh, I'll keep, a, keep an eye out for that guy in the future. And even the deaths are very creative. Uh, some of my favorites involved uh, taking an axe, flipping it up, hitting it with a baseball bat, and having it fly through a whole crowd of zombies. Or even taking a bowling ball and just, just you know, strike right through their chest. Uh, it's very uh, enjoyable stuff. Uh, this is only the first volume. There's uh, several other volumes, all written by Stephen Lindsay, all with the different artists. So if you like zombies and you like something a little bit quirky, pick up uh, Jesus Hates Zombies, uh, those slack jaw blues, with a uh, cool Arthur Sudan uh, cover for the reprinted collection. And just a uh, heads up, if you're really religious or whatnot, and you think you're going to be offended by, easy, if you're offended easily, you know, don't, don't, save yourself the money and don't pick it up. And, you know, save, save yourself the time of writing a, a letter to Mr. Stephen Lindsay going, like, this is offensive, how could you? This is for people who like to enjoy a little humor in their lives. To find out more on Jesus Hates Zombies, check out alternacomics.com or captionsandballoons.com. And finally this episode, we have Elmer, and it's written and drawn 
by Jerry Allen Guillen. And basically, Elmer uh, focuses on this one chicken, that's right, chicken, named Jake Gallo, as he's just going through his day like all, like all of us do. You know, we can relate to chickens. He wants to get a job. Uh, he's being discriminated against. He likes to masturbate to online pornography. I mean, he's just like us. Only in this little topsy-turvy world, chickens are granted the same rights as humans. And they can also talk, they can get a job, etc. So Jake's kind of, uh, he comes from a family out on the farm. He has a very successful movie star older brother. And his sister is a nurse who is actually seeing uh, the doctor she works for, who is a human. And, you know, that's kind of interracial, anyway, interspecies, actually. Um, but he gets a call one morning. His father had a stroke, so now the entire family is going back to the farm to say their, you know, their last goodbyes and whatnot. But it's when he uh, meets with his sister and movie star bro, they they they, they can just uh, they talk about their lives, how they uh, Jake's a little too mad. Uh, how how can you be marrying this guy? Uh, the brother, the movie star brother, he might be gay. They're not sure, and it, it, he remembers all the good times he had with his father. I really enjoyed the series because the art alone is just gorgeous. But then add in a funny, quirky story about, like, a talking chicken, I love it. Uh, if you want more of it, you can uh, buy this in printed form. Go to uh, comichero.com. That's uh, Jerry's uh, uh, website. And you can see more art by him uh, if you want to buy something from him. All located right there. Well, comic book fans, that does it this episode. If you want more Kames Comic Corner goodness or the first volume of the Indies Comics episode, head on over to www.kamiescomiccorner.com. From there, you can see all the past shows, you see the weekly reviews, you can subscribe to us on iTunes and the RSS feed, and read my weekly reviews and Book of the Month columns. Also, if you like any of the kick-ass t-shirts you see me wearing, head on over to www.deadlinegraphics.net and send Kelly an email. There's only one name that I trust when it comes to comic book t-shirts, and that is Kelly over at deadlinegraphics.net. Another shout out to Rising Sun Creations. They specialize in the best of U.S. comic books, manga, and collectible toys imported straight from Japan. All at rsd-online.com. Like I said before in the beginning, I'll try to get these out more consistently because I have tons of indie creators lined up. If you want me to review an uh, independent comic or graphic novel, head on over to Kami's Comic Corner and send me an email at kamiescomiccorner at gmail.com. So until Volume 3 comes out, hopefully soon, this has been Kami. Thanks for watching. Now go read an independent comic. <laughs>